everyone! I am jumping on very spontaneously again. Just gonna get myself all set up and uh, make sure I can see myself, make sure my volume's down. There we go, I am good to go and hopefully Hopefully, hopefully, comments are on everything is working today, so we should be all good. So, tonight I am going to recreate the cards that I posted yesterday. So, these are the ones. Very, very easy. Um, now that I know what I'm doing, it'll be in super quick, so that'll be good. So, I thought we'll do this one here, and I am making from start to finish. Okay, so... This is only for show because I am messy, but you know, I hate, I hate changing my grid paper for every time I do a live. So apologies for um, that, but I'm sure you guys are exactly the same. So if you're watching, jump in, say hi, so I know that the comments are working. Oh, and uh, I'll be using the beautiful Friendship uh, Photopolymer stamp set tonight, which is very attractive. I quite like it. Okay, so what am I going to do first? I'm going to do a bit of big shot work first, but first of all, I'm also going to tell you the colours. So we're going to use Seaside Spray, which is new, Rococo Rose, which is new, Pretty Peacock, which is also new, and Blushing Bride, which I think works really well with the Rococo Rose. I have a feeling my comments might not be working again. So if you can type a comment, you know what? I'm going to test it myself. Testing. Although I don't know that that's going to actually, oh, well, that went up. Okie dokie. We all struggle on. Okay, so I need my big shot. I've got everything down beside me. Okay, so we're making, going from woe to go so i'm going to use my strip of uh, rococo rose and i'm also going to use the subtles dynamic folder with a 3d one and to get my hey suzanne can suzanne can you just type something in the comments so i can see whether the comments are actually working or not so for the plate uh, the sandwich for this one I just need the base plate and my embossing folder because it's nice and thick. Just going to pop that in relatively straight. You guys can leave comments just so that I can see whether they're working or not. I have a feeling that they might not be. Just going to wind that through. In which case I'll be tatting to myself again tonight. Which is what I feel like it. I feel like a twit all the time. It's so much nicer when you can see comments, don't you think? I don't think they're coming through. You guys might be able to see them, but I can't. Rightio. So now we've got that just that nice subtle um, bit of texture going on on the cardstock. I'm going to put all that away to ha clean up later. Yeah, right. Okie dokie. So, let's get some stamping. So, I'm using a sheet of just plain whisper white and it is 9 by 13. I feel like I'm all over the place today. 9 by 13. Okay, and it really, really seems like my comments are not working. So, nope, mustn't be working. Anyway, okay, I'll cut it to myself. Now, when I did my first one, the hydrangea with the blue came in as a last minute type of um, colour. So I'm actually going to stamp that one first because I liked how it turned out. So I'm going to go with that one first. And that one was in the seaside spray. And I'm going to feel like a real half wit. Okay, so just inking it up. And it is one of the distinctive stamps as well. And I'm going to stamp half on and half off because I don't, you know, I'm not too fussed about um, having the edge come off. And I might actually try and make it a little bit fuller in than what I had the other day. 
Okay, and I do need to clean these between because I need to use my block again. Now I've discovered that Blushing Bride goes really nicely with um, Rococo Rose. So I'm going to put them away and get these gorgeous roses out. I don't know what the deal is with Facebook. I really can't figure it out. Sometimes the comments work really well and other times they just don't want to show up. Leave you feeling silly. Okay, now this is an old ink pad so I can totally smush this one. Okay, and in Blushing Bride, so I'm just going to pop it up here and I'm again going to stamp off the edge. Okay, and then I'm going to swing my card around the other way and stamp that one along the bottom and sort of angle it inwards as well. This uh, type of stamping is so quick and easy. So I've got two flowers going on and that was in Blushing Bright. Oh, I'm going to get myself into a big mess. So apologies if I don't chatter because uh, it's happened again. Oh, you know what? I always save leftovers. Do you guys do this? I save leftovers and now they're just in my way. I thought I was going to use them the other day and I didn't. And now they're just bugging me. Okay. Now next is the little inserts. The little stamen. So we've got two of them. A bigger one and a smaller one. They sort of don't really look like a whole lot. Let's stick that on there. So the matching colour being the Rococo Rose. And just ever so lightly. Now in here there's a little like a, a white space. So I don't think it's actually designed to match up. But... Um, we'll just pop it in there and turn my card around so it's easier to handle and pop that one. Oh, I can show you my new ink pad. Brand new stamp cleaning pad, specially designed. Let's have a crack at this to get rid of pinky stuff. I think that's what you do. And then you have to clean that off straight away as well. Um, there's a solution on there and you can get a refill for that as well. So then I'm just going to clean up on my chamois and um, away we go. No pink. So that's something new in the catalog. So it's apparently good for removing good for removing um, stays on and um, and you know I think it's for stays on I'm not 100% sure. I'll have to look into it a bit more. I just ordered it and thought, well, we'll have a crack and see what it's like. Okay, and now for the little itty bitty one. And that will go just in that little space in there somewhere. Okay. Just like that. Oops, I think it just... Hey everyone watching, apologies that I cannot uh, see your comments, but you can still chat away with me, that's okay, I'll just not respond to you, I'm not ignoring you, I just can't see you, and uh, I will come back and um, see it all afterwards. Okay, so, pop this one away for the moment, next I want some leaves. So you get to do loads and loads of stamping with this type of um, set because we want to use them all and get a nice bouquet going. So this one is the Peacock, which I think is a nice change from using um, like green. I think it works quite nicely. Um, stick that one down there like that. Oh, get it all over my fingers. I don't know whether
whether I can see if you put up a smiley face or something, I might be able to see them. You can chat to me via whatever those things are called. <laughs> Okay, next, I, what else did I do? I think I used some more of these flowers. I don't even, oh yes, I can see hearts, I can see hearts. I can't see comments, but I can see hearts and thumbs ups, yay. Okay, so going back to the uh, seaside spray, and I'm just gonna put some of these little spiky flowery things just around there, and also, around the base, around here, just to sort of tone it all in. Oh, that's good. We can, we can chat via funny faces. <laughs> oh, I don't like it when it does this to me. Anyway, okay, I think that was all of my base stamping and then I actually wanted to do a bit of stamping and cutting out so this is going to be really fun considering I've got no one to chat to it's dreadful 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 okay so I'm just gonna do two of these and I thought you know we'll be chatty I'll have lots to talk about tonight with you all and um, it never works that way does it okay so I want two of them and I want, I only did two extra leaves on my first card, but I think I might do three for this card. And I want them in Peacock. So I thought, you know, I'll make a card from the start. Okay. Three of them. I think I'm done with this one. Now, before I put my seaside spray away and before I cut them out, I'm going to do just a little extra step and hopefully um, it will dry while I'm cutting out all the stuff. Right, let's put them aside. Now I need my aqua painter, which is around here somewhere. I am getting ink absolutely everywhere. Okay, so I'm gonna squeeze my ink pad just to transfer a bit of blue. Strip, a couple of drips. Get a nice watery slush happening and hope that I don't flick everywhere but where I need to go, which I think it might be. All right, I think that'll do. I'd always, I find that if you've got some white space, just flicking a little bit of ink onto it sort of helps fill it up a little bit as well. And it gives you a, a chance to get your nib back into a nice point as well. Okay, so I'll pop that aside. Apologies that you are now going to have to suffer through suffer through this. And I can't even speed it up for you. <laughs> I'll be as quick as I possibly can. How about that? Do you have trouble finding where to uh, start your image from? There we go, super quick. How's that? Round around. <laughs> I always struggle to find where am I gonna start my cutting from Oops. so just leaving a white edge around your image helps um, separate it rather than cutting on the actual 
stamped image. Right, super quick. But the card's nearly done, so um, that's a good thing. That is a super good thing. It's a very, very quick card. Um, probably an easy one to make multiples of. Um, it's uh, a friend of mine calls this type of stamping. She she calls it plonk stamping because you just plonk it all down wherever wherever you want. So I dare say that she's probably got this stamp already as well. This set, I thought as soon as I saw it, I thought, yep, that's a Bev's stamp set. That one. It's good to just plonk it all down. Okay, quick cutting. Okay, and I also need, oops, I also need my sentiment, which I'm going to do in Pretty and Peacock. I did do it in um, Rococo as well, but I think it sort of needs to stand out a little bit better than that. Um, does that one fit on there? It's going to fit. Hey, I got a comment. Does that mean they've started working? Lisa. There you go. Look, how have I managed to get ink everywhere? I got one comment. I don't know whether that means they're working or not. But um, I'm just going to stamp that. A very big congratulations and best wishes to you. We've got birthdays are the best. I love our beautiful friendship. I'm so very happy to know you. Now, I need my trimmer. Okay, so I'm just going to cut that off there somewhere. Okay, line it up. Nope. Lisa, your comment must have just been a freak one coming through because no one else is his. Right, now, I don't know. Um, I tend to keep a lot of things sometimes. Oops, I think I'm frozen as well. Oh, there we go. And if I pop them in this way, I can actually get that different angle. Instead of being a flag like a banner I can get the opposite whoops line her up because it's a bit bigger than my other flag punch I can use bigger sentiments okay all right I think we are ready to assemble if I can find my card amongst all my rubbish right Okay, so Thick Whisper White cardstock, and I am doing mine uh, 10 and a half by 26, which will then become 10 and a half by 13. That is the size that I work with. Oh, I probably don't need all of that. I can probably save some of that for another card. So I'm just going to cut that in half. And now, they're a right side and a wrong side? I don't think so, not with this one. Okay, and that's going to go on the right hand side, buttoned up right against the edge. And then this piece can go down. And it will sit just over the top. And then if you have any little overhangs or you want to neaten up the edges, just trim off, trim all that off. And then you've got a nice thing. There we go. Okay, almost done. 
make some dimensionals. And I've only got ends left. So I'm just going to pop this sort of in the middle because I'm going to slip my flowers underneath and I want to be able to have room to do that. So I'm just going to, I'm not going to pop it in the middle, I'm just sort of going to pop it up the top and let it overhang into my coloured strip there for a bit. My last cards, I didn't, um, I left these flat, but I'm actually going to pop them up this time just to separate them a little bit too. Thanks for sticking around, um, even though I can't chat. So I'm going to pop one up here. And because I've got a little white space going on between the two pink flowers, I will pop that under there as well. Should I have it up the right way? Right, and then I think these ones can go down flat. Oops. And I'll pop them. Oh, I missed a bit there. I was thinking I could cover that over. I still might be able to. Pop that there. And I still might be able to cover that up a little bit like that. See, and then no one would know. No one would know I didn't ink my stamp up properly. There we go. How about that? Hiding all sorts of things. Now, the last thing which I really love are these woven threads sequins because the woven threads suite um, contains all the brand new in colours. So all of these guys are going to match. Um, but I do only particularly want the blue ones because that is the... Um, Seaside spray, but then I can pick um, I can pick the peacock ones, or I can pick the. Um, actually, I just think I'll do that. You can pick the peacock will go, and also the rococo rose obviously will go. And get myself set up. I feel like I'm back in the dental surgery here. trying to keep my little bit of a triangle formulation thing going here as well. So one, two, three. And I think my husband is home from a very long day at work. So that is good timing because now I have finished. <laughs> so I am going to duck off quickly. I'm so sorry that the comments weren't working. I wasn't able to chat with you like I wanted to. I'm just going to pop that under. So there we go. There are our cards finished. And I am going to duck off quickly because he's just pulled in and I can go and see him. Okay, thanks. We will tune in again another time and hopefully my comments will be working. Please still do leave me comments because I'll go back and have a little chat with you all that way instead of this way okay thanks so much for tuning in and bearing with me because you know i hate it when technology doesn't work thanks a lot see ya